Welcome everybody to another edition of Coffee Talk Tuesday. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that Coffee Talk happens every single day on Instagram. But one day a week, I bring it right here to YouTube for Coffee Talk Tuesday. So thank you guys for joining on this second edition or second episode of Coffee Talk. Now, I've been getting some messages recently on how people can build muscle or just gain weight on a vegan diet or a plant-based diet. And I thought I should make a quick video about this because to me, it's easy. But also to me, I'm lazy. So I don't eat as much as I should. I don't eat enough calories. I don't eat enough carbs. I don't eat enough protein. I know this. This is why I'm small and I don't grow. But that's okay. I can help you do it. So what you need to do, and I'm sure even before you were vegan or if you're transitioning and you're trying to figure out how to gain more weight, people said this all the time in the fitness industry, just eat more. Well, they're right, unfortunately. Uh, you just need to eat more. I know as when I was transitioning or became a vegan, what I didn't do was eat enough. I still don't eat enough because yes, I may have been full, but the food I was eating wasn't very calorically dense. So what I've been trying to do lately is eat more complex carbs, sweet potatoes, quinoas, beans. I mean, any of those, you're getting two to 300 calories per cup, which is a lot. Um, my smoothies that I make, I'm throwing in four to five bananas, I'm throwing in uh, peanut butter, arugula, kales, hemp seeds, which are great um, omegas and protein complex as well, complex proteins. Um, I'm getting chia seeds, I'm getting in there, you know, obviously like a protein powder, I throw in blueberries. So I try to build, granted, that smoothie I'm having is probably has ridiculous amounts of sugar, but I usually take those after a workout to replace glycogen stores in my body. So it's okay to shuttle that amount of nutrients and sugars and calories into my body because my body needs it anyways. So I want everyone to go right now, pull out your phone because I know you're on it. Now, if you're watching this video on your phone, do it afterwards so you can finish this video. But download an app. I use MyFitnessPal, but there is a couple different apps on ways that'll help you track your food. Now do this for one week so you get an idea of how much calories you're actually consuming. Don't change your diet. And then the next week, or you could even do it for half a week, however long you feel comfortable, is tweak your diet to get more calories. Look at what you've been eating that has a lot of calories and what that doesn't and kind of supplement those. Now, also, you want to pay attention to you don't want to cut out nutrients. Obviously, you still want those. There's still a lot of things I consume that aren't calorically dense, but they pack a punch with like nutrients such as superfoods and stuff like that. So pay attention to that as well. But what I love, quinoas, sweet potatoes, white potatoes, which probably aren't the best for you, but they're delicious. Um, I eat a lot of garbanzo beans. I eat a lot of pinto beans, black beans. <laughs> Uh, peanut butter, I do put peanut butter in my smoothies. Also, there's other sauces. There's a lot of sauces you cook food with that have high calories. Now, just pay attention to the sodium as well. Um, as far as protein, obviously you wanna get, they say one gram per pound of body weight, but I'm gonna go with the more like 0.7 to 0.8. So I try to follow that. Sometimes it's still hard for me, but I love tempeh. I like it more than tofu. I love me some crispy tempeh with some sauce. I had some buffalo tempeh the other day, which was fire. You should try it. I recommend it because most of the buffalo sauce is plant-based or vegan, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, I mean, just eat more. I know you've probably heard it a million times. I'm here to say it a million and one times. Eat more, eat more calorically dense foods. Have more carbs. Don't be afraid of carbs. A lot of people, when they become vegan, are afraid of carbs. Don't be. I try to consume anywhere between three to 500 grams of carbs a day. Now, you need carbs for your energy. A lot of people become vegan and they don't eat enough carbs, and then they lose a ton of energy. That's important. You need that energy. So go ahead. Eat your carbs. Give them a big old hug. Kiss on the cheek. They're going to love it. Now, that's pretty much all I have. I'm no nutrition expert. I'm no dietitian. 
I just kind of eat when I want. I guess you could say intuitive eating, if that's what that's called. I don't know. I've seen people post about that. I could be wrong. Um, so yeah, track your food for a week, tweak it, eat high calorically dense foods. You will grow. Now, granted, don't go for a run or an exercise that's going to burn 2,000 calories a day and consume 3,500 calories a day because you're still kind of in a deficit there. <laughs> so obviously you want to eat more than what you're burning. I don't do cardio because it's stupid and because my ankles still hurt. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that my ankles still hurt. Oh, I probably can't run, I don't know, for another two months, a month. I can't surf. It's sad. I know you guys really like the surfing, even though half of you probably don't, which is fine too. But that's pretty much it. I want to know down in the comment section below, what's your favorite high caloric food that you like to eat? Let me know. I also love Oreos. Don't eat Oreos. They're not healthy for you, but they're delicious. So adios, amigos. Bye.